What's going on everybody out there? This is your man, JBBoy313, coming at you for Rep the Culture. You already know. We have another video today. Actually, it's Friday, so you know it's time for the replay. So on this episode of the replay, well first, let's get it started. Dutch gang in the building, you already know. Dutch filled up with that nice, that nice, very nice organic. Smells very good. Cheers everybody out there. refreshing you already know before we get this started i'd just like to give a huge shout out to the pearl gang you already know thank you for tuning in i'm sure you're rolling up those perfect perfect blunts perfect joints as we speak while you're watching along also if you are watching and you enjoy the content please slap a like on that also if you slap a like on it please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be made aware every time I drop some new content. With that being said, let's get into it. This week's episode of The Replay. Got three dope albums covered your way. Albums that you could put on and replay over and over again. These are three albums that have caught my ear that have come out. Uh, my criteria is the last month. A lot of good music has been coming out lately. Nice balance of music, you know. It is from this date till the month back. So any albums that came out today, sorry, maybe they'll be on the future episode, but didn't make it today. So with that being said, let's get into the very first album that you should go check out on all streaming platforms. Also, anywhere you consume your music, I'm pretty sure you can find these albums. This first one is, I'm, I'm mind blown by it for the simple fact that we have not heard any music in, I don't know, 10 years or so. Uh, besides that, the last we heard, these people were not on good terms with each other. And, um, you know, on my Apple Music the other, I believe last Friday, and I'm, I'm looking at the albums that dropped and I'm like... What is this? I, I didn't even know it was coming out. I didn't hear anything about it. Obviously, you wouldn't even think about it because these people were, you know, had issues with each other. But with that being said, uh, this album is by the rap group Little Brother. Yes, that's right. I said it. Brand new music from Little Brother. Now, with that being said, the name of the album is may the lord watch uh it is 15 songs 37 minutes log uh, it doesn't really have any rap features but it does have featured producers such as crisis and uh focus we all know the group is big poo bonte as well as ninth wonder uh with that being said ninth definitely has some beats on here uh, I think for a few songs uh, there is a story behind it I'm not here to get into that story I'm sure you can probably find it on the internet and see what it's all about but this album is dope I guess it does have the little brother sound on there like that sound you were used to hearing from back in the day but it's also they've kind of modernized it to 2019 and for not putting uh, music out together in the last 10 years or so, it's like they never left. The The chemistry seemed to be on point, at least between uh, Big Poo and Fonte. Um, so yeah, great album. Check it out. You could put it on, play it from song number one, let it go through. Oh, I also forgot it does have a feature on there. They got... Um, Peter Rosenberg from Hot 97 to do a skit on there, which I thought was pretty dope. 
So that's kind of the one non-producer feature that's on there. Peter Rosenberg from Hot 97. Uh, such a great album. Refreshing to hear some new little brother. Finally, finally, finally we hear some new little brother. I will say um, it, it's just, it's dope, man, that, you know, people grow and they can get past the problems of the past, you know, and, and grow and come back together and do great things so shout out to y'all little brother thank you so much i know we have all been waiting for this for who knows how long now you know so with that being said that is available wherever you can sue your music go check it out once again that's little brother may the lord watch all right so on to the second album and this one is definitely definitely dope uh it's really on that new york vibe that that real new york gutter gangster i'll cut you with the razor vibe you know and I, i've really been enjoying it actually and uh that is flea lord and 38 spesh loyalty and trust i know some of y'all may have never heard of either one of these artists. Um, I really didn't hear of uh, Flea Rock per se until this album. And that's no disrespect to him or anything like that. 38 Special I've heard of. Uh, he's produced joints with like Jada Kiss, Nori, AZ, Benny the Butcher. I think maybe a couple of West Side Gun, Griselda joints, you know. But Flea Lord, he is from Queens, New York. Definitely you could tell he's got that Queens flow in him, that Queens gutter like mob deep i'm gonna shank you vibe real dope lyricist definitely taking it back to dope lyric new york lyricist like if you like that sort of thing uh once again it is nine songs 18 minutes long so definitely keeping within the theme that i always talk about quick albums nowadays that we can consume you know so yeah that's definitely dope it has features from benny the butcher graf rj Payne, as well as terminology it also definitely is a joint a collaborative effort between flea lord and 38 special who is a producer so go ahead check that out wherever you consume your music dope album definitely on repeat around the crib and the whip okay so now on to the third one this one i waited uh this one holds a special place in my heart just because this artist is from detroit he's been really grinding heavy uh if you check him out on instagram or just the internet in general he's been putting out definitely a lot of music he's been definitely pushing this project he goes by the name of jay green and the project is called 3500 garland definitely a dope project detroit is experiencing this new wave of hip-hop music and i love it it's influenced by many different things outside of detroit as well and that's what i enjoy about this album once again it's six songs at 20 minutes long you know definitely easy to consume something you can put on play it from song one till the end uh, it features okur and uh dominique may davis supreme flows and dose ftp all local detroit artists check them out as well the album is super dope definitely can't stop listening to it and like i said it holds a special place in my heart Detroit music. I love all Detroit music. So though that's it for this week. That is the replay, everybody. Make sure you go and check out the other episodes with a lot of dope music that you should check out. With that being said, once again, you already know I gotta give a huge shout out to the Pearl Gang. Once again, if you're enjoying the content, slap a like on this video and the ones that you enjoy. Also, if you're liking the video, why not subscribe? Hit that notification button. You can be told and alerted every time I drop some new content. You already know, definitely do what I think this, this month. Try to kick it off heavy. 
So also, head over to Instagram, at Rep The Cult. Follow for your latest in hip-hop culture, latest in weed smoking, latest in everything culture-related. Also, follow me over there on Instagram, at JBBoy313RXC. Don't be afraid to reach out. I'm a man of the people, you already know. So with that being said, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, wonderful week. Let's get out there. Let's get it. Peace.